Hi everybody, it's Christy Forsyth from Clarity and I'm here for you today with this week's energy report. So what my energy report is, because sometimes people are confused about the energy report, what my energy report is, is I talk about what we have going on right now with this universal energy on the planet. And so many of us are sensitive to energy and impacted by the energy that we are constantly responding to these energies that are around us and it can really have an impact on us. So I take a look at the energy that we have going on as a collective and I talk about those things and you'll see some of these themes and some of these things showing up in your life. If you're somebody who's really energy sensitive, you might find yourself experiencing all of these things. Um, or you might feel some of those. Everybody's individual astrology and things like that can impact that too. But you're going to notice probably some of these themes if you are energy sensitive. So. This week is an interesting energy. I'd love to hear from you guys how you're experiencing it. I think there's a lot going on physically for people in terms of just an overall feeling of weirdness. I'm, I'm noticing that it feels like there are these surges of energy flowing down to us and this feels as though it's helping us in some way with shifting, with changing, with growing as we're moving into some really powerful times. and. So with this, there's going to be these surges of energy and with this, we're going to feel a little bit strange. So I've had people talk about feeling dizzy. I've had people talk about surges of anxiety that seem to come out of nowhere um, or restlessness. I think a lot of people are having a hard time either just being restless in their waking state and feeling like they need to be doing something, but they're not quite sure what it is that they need to be doing because there's a little bit of a challenge with focus right now as well. Um, and also difficulty with sleep and things like that. So you might be experiencing some of those things with the energy that we have going on right now. And uh, you know, if you guys caught my tarot reading on Tuesday, it's an interesting week in terms of what we have going on right now. It's um, going to be, I think, if it's not already, some challenges coming up. And I think that we have to remember that the challenges that we have showing up for us right now, the changes that we have going on, the transitions that we have going on, they really are for the purpose of our highest and best good. And so you're going to be noticing, I think, right now, some WTF moments, you know, where you get some surprises. I think this is a week of surprises. And... I think that they're all good surprises, but they not, might not feel like they're good surprises. So they might be some significant life-changing moments, um, some sig significant life-changing events that happen for you that are changing the course of everything for you. But I really feel like this is an energy that's coming along to kind of adjust us on our best life path. And so maybe if we didn't quite make the changes that we needed to make or um, maybe in order to catch us up with where we need to go over the next couple months or so. Uh, the universe is helping us to make the changes that we need to make that maybe we fear has held us back from. So if you're noticing that you've got a lot of shifting, if you've got some doors closing for you, I think that it's really important to try to coach yourself through that and to remind yourself that this is for your highest and best good because there's also a lot of doors opening. So that's the cool thing about it right now. And Chris says a lot is changing right now. Um, and I'm excited to hear, Chris, what, what's going on for you. So some of it is happy surprises. Well, like I said, I feel like a lot of it is, or all of it is happy surprises. It just might not feel that way right now. Cause you know, I don't know about you guys, but change is tough for me. And I think change is tough for a lot of people. And we can really get stuck in our habits, in our ways of being, in our comfort zone, and have a hard time moving out of that. And I think, this week is gonna force us to move out of our comfort zone a little bit. So we've gotta just kinda of try to smile our way through that to find the gratitude, to find the appreciation for what's actually happening for us right now because I genuinely feel like a lot of things are being orchestrated in our favor right now. Hi Tamara, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so say hi guys or tell me where you're watching from too. Hi Jen. And um, let me know where you're watching. Let me know if you're watching live or on the replay. 
so like I said, lots of endings, lots of closing, lots of shifting. Um, and these are things like changes in relationships or major shifts within relationships, um, changes in work or um, just big life changes overall. You know, even you might decide this week that you want to move or that you're going to do something completely different. So just a lot of things changing and growing. Uh, I think with what's happening for us, we might find ourselves a little knocked off our game. Like it, it's almost like something knocks us over and we're a little disoriented. So you might feel a little disoriented. Like what do I do next? Where do I go next? Just take a little bit of time. Just take a pause and let yourself connect with your soul if you have these changes going on because it's really important for us to tune in right now and to listen to our soul so that we can take whatever that next step is. Like I said, I feel like there's lots of doors opening for us as well. And so we want to watch for those doors and we want to have that intuitive awareness to notice those doors when they're showing up for us. It's really important that we see past the illusion of, oh my gosh, this change is happening or this stuff is happening for me or I have all this stress and these challenging situations going on right now, it's important to see past the illusion, to take a step back and to recognize that all of it is being orchestrated for our highest and best good. And um, that we want to do our very best to find our happy place through all of it. So that is this week's energy report. I would love to hear from you guys in comments below if this connects for you or you know somebody that you think this will connect for. Make sure that you tag them below or you share that. If you want to learn more about me or you want to schedule a soul therapy session, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. I'll see you guys next week with another energy report.